In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Deacon Angel Palacios from the Mission of St. Andrew in Tijuana, Baja California, Mexico, of the Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. The Gospel is for the 7th of November 2018, according to St. Luke. If you do not pick up your cross and follow me, and follow the Christ, you are not even a disciple. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, This one began to build, but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king, advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? If not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, Every one of you who does not announce, renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. To renounce all your possessions. We need to renounce to everything in this world. Our own selves, to start with. Our comfort, our rest, our money, our property, our pleasure, everything because it is being exchanged for the salvation and companion of our God, which is far more than everything else. But we have to be aware. We have to sit down and calculate whether we want to do that or not. How are we going to do that? How are we going to dare do that, dear brothers? If you had asked me that some 20 years ago, I would have said, no, I don't want to. But it was only after I felt the mercy of God, only after I felt His love, that I was ready to give up everything and follow Him. But if I was not able, years ago, when I did not know, I would have said, no, I don't want to. We need to go to this process. We need to follow the Christ. We need to know Him so that we might be willing and able to pick up our cross. Is it true that God desires celibate priests? Of course not. All apostles were married, except one. The one apostle that was not married was John. But aside of that, all of them were married. So he does not want us, literally, to hate our wife or our, or our brother or, or our fathers. What he is telling us today is that we have to love him with all our heart, with all our mind, with all our life, with all our nose, with, I mean with all our knowledge, with all our minds, with all our strength. That's what we have to do. And thus everything comes and falls behind him. But then we are to turn around and love everyone with the love of God. But first we have to pick up our cross. And we can just imagine in the best example that we have, an exemplar, which is the, the, the Holy Theotokos, the Holy Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, who since ever since she was very young, she started tasting the bitterness of pain the great joy of becoming the mother of God and then the bitterness of looking at her son dying on the cross. And she never was embittered. She never, she never reneged of God. She always was and is obedient. And that is the first thing that we have to learn. Do you think that you are Catholic or Christian because you are baptized, because you 
have received communion or you were chrismated or confirmed as they say or because you were ordained what would you tell Judas the apostle he was an apostle how does it sound to hear to your eye to your ears apostle Judas the Iscariot the betrayer do you think that he went to heaven do you really can you affirm that because he was ordained an apostle which is higher than a bishop he went to, straight to, to heaven, he went probably to hell, because if he did not repent, if he did not repent and changed his ways. So it doesn't matter if you were ordained even a bishop, if you do not follow the Christ in obedience, you're not even a Christian. Dear brothers, today is a good day of repentance and a good day to ask God for the mercy of transformation, of converting, that we might turn around and look for His face and follow the Christ, that we might be allowed, because it's a gift from above, to be allowed to follow the Christ carrying our own cross.